Hello guys, welcome back to the channel DevOps Consultancy and Solution. In this video, I will show you how to add provisioner in Packer build file for Azure. So now let's go and create the image with the provisioner. So for that, I will just go back to the Visual Studio and I will create the file. Just the, the command touch. I will create this file Azure Windows Docker Packer file. Uh, I will use the existing file which has Packer source and the build block. So I will just copy it and paste it in this right. So now we have the file similar like uh, the previous example. So now what I will do, I will add the provisioner here. So in order to install the Docker or any other build package on the Windows machine, we require the chocolatey to be installed on the Windows machine. So first I will do, I will add the provisioner to the, uh, it will be a PowerShell provisioner in the build section. The provisioner will always come into the build section. So this is the provisioner which I have added. So if I just, yeah, so now you can see. So this is the commands which I am running. So this is the right host. It will print that installing chocolatey. So these are the, uh, this is the PowerShell command. So first it will execute, first it will set the execution policy and bypass it. And then it will start the installation of the chocolatey. It will install the chocolatey from this, uh, PowerShell script which is available online on the chocolatey.org file. Right. So uh, once the installation will done, so the requirement, there is a requirement that we need to restart the Windows machine. So, so for that, uh, I'll just give the command the restart hyphen computer dot force till the restart is going on so we have to pause the our build script so what we will do we will just add another provisioner so i will add this windows restart provisioner it will wait restart timer i just set the 10 minutes so it will uh, wait for 10 minutes till since till the windows will uh, come back and restart will complete so once the chocolatey is installed on the windows and the windows restart is completed now next step is to install the docker so to install the docker so i will use the command choco install docker so i will add a new, another provisioner here right so i add the another provisioner so this is a powershell uh, provisioner which has just the command choco install docker so it will install the docker on the windows machine so not now next what we will do i will just show you how to add the variables in the build file right so we so far we have add the provisioner two provisioners basic three provisioners sorry so first is to install the chocolate chocolatey on the windows machine second is to restart so wait for the build script to hold it till the restart is completed of the windows and third is to install the docker by the using the choco command so as you know there are two types of variables in the uh, in the in the packer so one is the input variable and another is the local variable so i am using those two variables uh, yeah. so input variable is the variable which for which the value we can pass it through the command line while executing the packer build file and local variable are the variables which has which have defined scope within that file. So I am using these two variables. So first is a resource group. So I just give the default value set the packer hyphen rg. So but I can just comment it out to show you how I can pass the value to the as an input variable. So if I don't uh, give the input uh, variable, then the packer build will automatically use the default value for this resource group so because i am using the resource group so i will replace this resource group packer hyphen rg with the variable so i will use the dollar dot resource group right 
and second i'm using i'm using the local variable which is a timestamp so i will use the local variable next to the image file which i am creating so i'll just add here local dot timestamp so once the build will be uh, will be created it will add the uh, timestamp to that image right so now our build file is ready so in this build file what we have done the changes is to add the variables and add the three provisions right so this is the uh, file which we updated so now let's run it so i just save it and first command is let me clear the screen so first command is packer initialize in it initialization is done so packer validate so validation is while doing the validation it is saying that the variable for the resource group is not set right so i will do packer validate the variable so i'm just passing the variable as the input value by executing the command so i'm using this uh, source group name equal packer hyphen rg and then the file so now the validation is done so in this so far i what i was doing i just passed the input variable but you can also create the variable file that variable file you can pass as a variable to the in the while executing the packer validate or the packer build command so for that it will be packer validate hyphen yeah so this will be the command and then the file name variable file name so i am i didn't create the variable file name but you can check the uh, Ubuntu, uh, AWS Ubuntu examples. So here you can see I have created the Packer file, the Packer file variable file. Sorry, so this variable file should be in this format, right? It should have an extension pkrvars.scl and the values should be key value like the key value pair, and value should be in the double quotes. So you, once it, you create this file. You can pass it. So you can check the previous video on the AWS Ubuntu, or you where I have discussed the variables file, how to use a variable file in well detail, and or you can check the GitHub repository for the to check the variable file and get see the example. So now the validation is done. So what I will do, I will run the packer build command. Build from so just copy here. So now I'm just passing the variable. So this variable is the input variable, and that if you can see here, I am not passing any value. If I didn't set any default value, so that's why I'm passing it here. So once I will run this build, so what it will do? It will create the instance on the Azure provision. It will run the provisioner, install our packages like Chocolaty and Docker, and then. It will create the snapshot and then create the image from that snapshot. So let's run it. So now the build process has been started, but it will take a little bit longer time. So I will pause the video and come back once it is done. Yes, yes. So now the image has been created. So now I will go to the Azure portal to verify the image which is that has been created so if we see here the image which is created is the devops cns underscore packer underscore windows underscore image and then the timestamp it added the timestamp here with that file so if i just copy here and will go to the portal and i will refresh it the azure portal so we can see the image which it has created so it is available here so i just I can click on the image to verify uh, the further details. So these are the 
tags which we have mentioned here in the build process. It is created on the East US. This is our source group. Then it is operating system is Windows. So now I can click on the create VM to build the virtual machine by using this image. So I'm not going in detail of how to create the virtual machine, but you can test it by yourself. So in this session, we have learned how to build the Windows images by using the Packer. In this mastering Packer series, we have taken a deep dive into Packer and created both Windows and Ubuntu images for AWS and Azure. I hope you have found this series incredibly useful and help you le to learn all about Packer and how to build your own images for your project. In next series, we are diving into Terraform. Get ready to automate and manage infrastructure in Azure and AWS seamlessly. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Keep learning, happy learning. Thank you.